Rosa. Then there was the time I was cleaning the bathroom and you nicknamed me Chav in the lab. That was jocular workplace banter. No tell mother I'm eating chips in the street like a commoner. The shock could finish her off. Should we now move on to the physical harassment? Excuse me? Okay, Romeo and me. Romeo and I. I know you don't have a degree in your future, but can we at least stick to basic grammar? You paid off Cindy to take the blame for what you did. What? 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 That is true. Trouble. You are aware this is my home. You live in a rather ugly pub with a tedious Scotsman. I really miss this, you know. <laughs> I have started anger management therapy. Really? Yes, really. Believe it or not, I was doing it for you. Thank you. See, we could even team up as a duo. Only if you wanted to. No, that'd be cool. Excellent. Maybe we can even come up with a team name. You're going too far now. Well, at least we don't have to put up with Hilton's eating habits for much longer when we get our home back. <laughs> that was weird. I have to warn you, I have a strict music policy, so I'll be betting on your CD. <laughs> CDs. Showing your age there, Nightingale. Well, I had no idea he was your father. He's better in the sack than you anyway. Say hello to Mr. Cumber. <laughs> and goodbye to our credibility. I couldn't think of anything worse than watching you drink your teeny tiny coffee in your teeny tiny dressing gown. It's a smoking jacket. Do you know, Sammy, I've always liked you. Okay, I'm absolutely buzzing right now. I'm just going to pretend that's true. You trying to give me a heart attack? Well, this calls for a celebration. Uh, you should take Verity somewhere nice, and I will buy myself a hideously expensive bottle of Merlot to enjoy with the finest company, myself. It's not my fault, you're hot. Stop flirting. How can I resist? Hmm. Try. I need your help. Romeo's been arrested for beating up Sammy. <laughs> give the boy a knighthood. We're having a pizza night. Oh, what? That's a new thing. We uh, eat a slice, then we talk about our feelings. No, we don't. Fine, we uh, have a slice, grunt at each other while we stare at our phones. Deal. Can I lend a doorman? Borrow. I just sort of might have told her that you called me a cripple. <laughs> In jest! We don't find it funny, we find it offensive. I shall leave you and your uh, <laughs> MS suffering friend to moan about how monstrous I am. Okay. Uh, I'm not feeling particularly charitable right now. How can you live with yourself? It has its ups and downs, but I'm surprisingly witty and I make a mean espresso martini. That animal you call a father nearly killed my dad. And you're covering for him. Ah, uh, you meant her. Oh. I said I'm not going. No, 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 I'm just teasing. Besides, if you don't go, what'll happen to all the poor little turtles? <laughs> Juliet is back in school. Tick. Romeo's getting the girl. Tick. Mac is going down. Tick. Tick. <laughs> Life is sweet. I mean, you have to be the only man in the world that can spend two weeks in the sun and come back looking like a milk bottle. What are you talking about? I've caught the sun. Yeah, I don't know how. We spent the whole time in the hotel room. You see, I've got James to deal with. I am here, you know. I actually admire Steve. He's loyal. He loves you. And he's the most positive person I've ever met. Life knocks him down, he just gets straight back up again. Probably because he's not very bright. No, you don't spoil it. And uh, he was quite fit as well. I didn't notice. I did. But uh, now we're here, we can enjoy a cup of Carmen Turkish bean. Is that coffee? Because I'll just have instant. You think I have instant? <laughs> ah, it's just like old times. Except you're not screaming at each other and these plates aren't smashed. But is it any wonder that I'm so hate-filled when I have to see your smug face this early in the morning? Juliet's still not picking up, so I'm gonna go find her. Oh, no. You might just push her further away. She's a teenager. She'll come home when she's hungry. She's not a cat. She's my little sister. You've got kids! Yeah, well, technically, Juliet's actually my house sister. Oh, just, just stop! Okay, just, just stop being clever for once in your life. We'll press charges unless you pack up your little stall and go home. Maybe next time you can sell lemonade, like good little children. I didn't do it. And the price of most original line goes to... She set me up. Of course she did. Naughty Grace Black. Then what's going on? I was seeing a friend. <laughs> you don't have any friends. He is the worst lawyer in the world. I could sue you for that. <laughs> I win. 
Only you could make dusting audible. I'm not going out. Oh, what, because of this whole Joanne thing? The fact that my best friend is a complete lunatic? Yes, that. Why are you always in my sight? The law offices. Salon de thé, my home. It's most inconvenient. I'm working from home. It looks like it. So I had a lie in. With a blocked sinus. Uh, excuse me. Are you forgetting something? What are we, 12? Bye. I wanted to apologise for my behaviour last night. Wait. That's one of the four signs, isn't it? The what? The apocalypse. Yeah, it's war, famine, plague of locusts, and then James Nightingale apologising. And anyway, wouldn't you feel more comfortable wearing a scent you're familiar with? You know, like, um, oven chips or the bookies. Stop it! You won't win. Oh, I already have. I suggest you two start looking for a cardboard box. I hate you! Could you be a little less teenager about this? Just shut up! But you and I are two very different people. <laughs> it would never work. I'm a high-profile lawyer, and you, well, you're a domestic. Well, you just shut your mouth. Nathan's on to me. He doesn't think you're here to see your children. It's almost as if he knows you. I was just dropping off some mock exam papers and textbooks for Juliet. Yeah. I'm sure the university office will come flooding in when they see drug dealer under her extracurricular activities. She'll have come to see how you are. She'll probably be stood there with a basket of mini muffins, a concerned look, a sympathetic ear. Nancy! What a surprise! And flowers, how thoughtful. He had wanted mini muffins, but uh, no. I need you to be my boyfriend. Pretend, obviously. That seed to get James Nightingale slept with Ollie last night. And I wouldn't be surprised if he offered him money. Well, it's a good job I'm here to defend myself. Allow me to extend my sincere apologies for the altercation we had. Ellie, I did an awful thing. Do not speak about my mother like that. And I don't know what I could do to make it up to you. I take full responsibility. My behavior was reprehensible. Can you forgive me? <laughs> What does that mean? Do you know right now that heinous cardigan has more appeal than you ever will? What is this? <laughs> My dear sweet innocent Harry, it's called the car. You best clean that up. Oh look, you're now in here. How wonderful. Are you having a bad hair day or your devil horn starting to grow through? Oh, okay, okay. Right, now Pizza! The thing that fixes everything. You watch too much television. Is that where you're getting this nonsense? Objection! We don't even say that. Aha! PC Kiss! You know, when you say it out loud, that really does sound ridiculous. Be careful, Nate girl. This is the most spiteful, petulant, and over-theatrical revenge plot I've ever seen. I love it. <laughs> 